Hey, 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 welcome to our channel, T-Girl Magic Tarot. Here to do a reading for my J -J Geminis, my Geminis. What's going on, Gemini? High vibe, cross watchers, fam bam, what's going on? Thank you guys for joining me. Thank you guys for all your continued support, your love, your likes, your shares, your subscriptions, your donations, your everything, Gemini. Okay, thank you so much. Um, this is a general message. It's not going to resonate with anybody or everybody or whoever. Okay, so only take what resonates and please leave the rest. Don't try to force anything to fit. All right, choir, come to the front. Come to the front. One, two, three. Oh, T-girl, T-girl, magic and collective. T-girl, 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 magic and collective. T-girl, Tarot, magic, and collective. Check us out and see what we're about. Ow, ow. We are Gemini, 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 Gemini. We sing Gemini, 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 Gemini. We are Gemini, 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 Gemini. Night. Yay, give the choir a round of applause. Hallelujah. I don't give a damn. I'm going to sing that. That song made me happy as hell, okay? It just makes me giggle and shit. It brings the child out in me. I love it. I love it. This is not going to, I mean, this this channel's not for everybody. So, I mean, it is what it is, and I don't give a damn. Anyway, angels, ancestors, holy spirit, ascended masters, but I love you. Sending you in a bunch of light, love, healing vibes to everyone, okay? Remember, you get what you give. So do not give out any nasty-ass shit, because I'm going to pop that shit right back to your ass, okay? Um, What's going on, spirit? Okay, what, 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 what messages do you have to say? Okay, feel the power of your blood and your ancestors, niggies, okay? So your ancestors is on the scene. They showing up and showing out and giving you signs and synchronicities. Okay, you guys are like tapping into your powers, realizing that you're not alone. Some of y'all here in the ancestors in your house and shit. Some of y'all do have altars in your home. Okay, good for you. Um, And you hear them at night. You actually communicate with them. You actually have a wonderful, loving relationship with the Holy Spirit, your ancestors, with God, period. Okay, but this is your ancestors. So some of y'all literally... Your ancestors are like a force to be reckoned with, Gemini. They don't play about you. Whoever, high vibe, you don't have to be a Gemini. Whoever I'm talking to, your ancestors don't play about you, and they will kill a bitch. That's all I got to say, okay? I, I'm not trying to be mean and have nobody, but your ancestors, what I'm reading is they will kill a bitch over you, Gemini, okay? Yes. Mm -mm, they don't play. What else, spirit? And you're not alone, and you know you're not alone because you hear them in your house. Okay, all your senses have been awakened, young. You know they're there. Okay, you got a sense, sixth sense, Gemini. Slow down and become aware of them. Slow down and become aware of your sixth sense. Okay, because this is a beginning as well. The ten is a beginning and it is an ending as well. That one. Okay, but your ancestors. So you, this is yeah. This looks exciting. Okay, you guys are tapping into your ancestry. I love this. Some of you are tapping in by listening to music, listening to your old. Um, I want to. I'm hearing tribal. Okay, tribal music. Okay, uh, shaman. Um, yeah, you guys have a lot of that energy going on. I'm picking up a lot of your ancestors were shamans. Okay, you do have healing powers. I'm picking up a lot of Egyptian as well. Okay, an African roots, okay, a lot of hoodoo, okay, and voodoo on the good side, not on the bad side, okay. Um, and some of yeah, you're and some of you didn't even know you had all these powers in your bloodline, so you're like, oh my god, excited about it. Some of you guys listen to music or certain things like that. Tune into it and learn to trust it. So you're getting downloads of these gifts. Some of you are thinking it's a figment of your imagination, but it's not, okay? Spirit's telling you it's time for a change. Do not wait to put off decisions any longer. Your ancestors are telling you there's something that you want to do, something you want to create, something you want to... Something, Gemini, and you got the keys, you got the permission, you got the green light, you can go ahead and move forward. Just ask your ancestors, ask Divine, go within, ask Archangel Michael, whoever, you know what I mean? Ask them. You cast a spell with your existence, with just with your existence. 
Magic flows brightly and radiantly within you. All awaken all of your senses, okay? So spirit, that's why your ancestors are showing up and showing out because you have, I think on the last reading I said you went through a spiritual blossoming, okay? You're going through a spiritual blossoming. You are the spell. You have the magic. You are the power within you. We have 15, 6. You have a lot of uh, physical gifts as far as, Number one, your spirit, but your spirit, who you are, your master manifester, because your senses are awakening into who you really are. You're feeling the power and the blood of your ancestors right now. So it's time for a change. You, things are changing in your life. You're going through this transformation. You see the butterfly on her shoulder? Butterfly. Okay. Um. Yeah, you cast a spell. So some of y'all done, yeah, y'all had actually, some of y'all did some shit on an accident and you didn't even know that you were doing it. You didn't even know, yeah, magic flows brightly and radiantly within you. So you're the walking light. You're the child of God. You're the Holy Spirit. You're a walking transformation of love and light. Whoever you encounter, whoever, yeah, you encounter in your life, you wake in their senses and you cause spiritual transformation, okay? What else, spirit? I like this. Oh, and somebody is over here. I didn't even see this card over here, child. I don't know if y'all seen it flip. Yeah, because the timing is right right now. Spirit said it's time. Seize the day and make progress on your soul path. So you're on a soul path right now. You're on your divine mission, okay? And somebody over here in the far corner with this nine. I'm picking up nine, child. That could be a beginning or an ending, too, depending on how you look at it. But I feel like they're they're lost in the ruins of the past, <laughs> Find a way to present. Oh, find a way to the present moment and live. So someone keeps repeating cycles, never learning them. They're living in the past and shit. Gemini, they're in regret and remorse or sad. I don't, I think it's more of regret because I'm hearing competition. Someone's in competition with you. Gemini and see you're just elevating because that's just what you're meant you're just put here to do okay you're living on you're living your soul's journey you're on your soul's journey you're making progress okay the timing is right you're communicating with your ancestors holy spirit you're going through this beautiful transformation a lot of you are spending outside in the nature re-energize in the natural world let your inner hunter or huntress take rest so a lot of you are resting. You are communicating with your ancestors as you're in nature. Okay, that's who the ancestors is, is nature. Okay, they're revealing a difficult time is being released now. So it's okay for you to release your creativity, your creative energies now. Okay, it's time for that change, the energy inside of you. This is the creative energy, that magic inside of you. It's okay to release that now. A lot of you has have released it and you got scared a little bit because you was like, oh my God. But spirit said, no, the timing is right. Some of you listen to a music. I don't know if you listen to like a um, meditative, um, like, I don't know. You know, I like YouTube has meditative. It's a sound, a music, a sound, whatever, because I, I ain't got time to be thinking that damn deep. And it unlocks something, Gemini, okay? And now you, you're you like, oh, my God, what the hell is going on? So now whatever you unlock, you unlock some magical powers within your ancestors are letting you know that they're there. You're not alone, okay? All your all your senses are awakened right now, so just slow down, okay? And become aware of what is changed in your life, what you're sensing. Um, it, Yeah, you could be a fire sign or a fire sign has been awakened to who you are or, I don't know, Gemini, but a difficult path has been revealed. Your ancestors is like... This time, this difficult path is almost over, okay? You learn why you had to go through this difficult path because it was part of your soul journey and your soul healing, mm hmm Okay, and then we got um sad person over here in the corner that's lost in the ruins of the past, child, okay? I'm gonna grab these. Fear say grab these, okay? Uh, yeah, look, look. I, I didn't even shuffle. That was so weird. I was like, what is this? Five of cups. Thank you. Somebody's in regret the five of cups child yes they are holy spirit ancestors what's going on that's weird that's see nothing is a coincidence you guys that's what i like to say because i thought i shut like um well i did shuffle them but then i didn't know that card was turned over but then here we go 
The Five of Cups, lost in the ruins of the past. This person's lost in the ruins of the past. Gemini, this is you or whoever in your energy, they, they lost in the ruins of the past because you done walked away. You gone, babies. You gone. You are on your whole spiritual journey path. You see you're alone and by yourself. Alone and by yourself, okay? But you're never alone. See, you're out in nature right now, okay? Or even your, your ancestors are with you, okay? Some of you guys have spirit animals and spirit insects and stuff like that. You're seeing butterflies, a lot of butterflies and stuff, a lot of ladybugs. Luck be a lady. Watching beautiful swans. You're, you were the ugly duck that turned into the swan. Not to say that you was ugly, you know what I mean? But this person didn't see your beauty when they were with you, okay? And now all your senses are awakening and you're glowing up and you are the spell caster, the magic's inside of you, see? And so this causes a um, tower for this person because they holding on. You see, they hold, I, like, why are you holding on to a blew up tower, sir or ma'am? What the fuck? Your head is about to blow up on fire. They don't give a fuck. They don't give a fuck. They hold on to towers, child, okay? They holding on to you, holding on to this tower, holding on to the past, holding on to regret, crying and shit. All in the emotions, inundated and stuff, in secret, okay? Because on the outside, they kind of appear to be like they doing okay. You see, this lady got her back turned, like she looks good on the outside. Like, I'm not crying, I'm just out here looking at the, whatever these flowers are, okay? She's just, I'm not sad, but bitch, you sad. She's sad, or he's sad, because you the Nine of Cups energy. You're, not, you're unbothered, and you don't give a fuck, and you're unfazed, and your hair is looking good, and you smell like roses, and you looking like a flower and you a magical motherfucking being. Okay, period. What else, spirit? The lovers. Mm. Somebody, yeah. Mm. Well, the lovers of Gemini, you did show up. Okay, that does be a choice between two. But somebody that is in sad, lost in the damn past of the ruins, they could as well be a Gemini, okay, that had or either put you in a whole nother competition with somebody else mm -hmm. but that you know when they did that spirit said the timing was right they brought down this tower because that was the catalyst for you to step into your angelic soul mission okay yeah and it happened quickly but see this person was slow to move forward with you okay they just wanted control to slow you down and hold you back from whatever you needed to do because they still weren't done playing in this third party situation Okay, that's why they, so you done moved on. They didn't know that when they released you, as they releasing you or whatever, that you were releasing them and you were releasing your creativities and it was time for that change, honey. Your ancestor stepped down and was like, cut that motherfucker because you ain't alone. If you leave this person, you're not going to be alone. We with you and we got you, baby. And we going to awaken up all your senses and give you the keys to creation. Look at you. Hierophant. Instant. Boom. Okay. So, yeah, God then showed up on the scene, okay, and you're very wise, and you looked up on into the community, and you give a lot of knowledge, and people look up to you, and they listen to you because you give good, loving, healing knowledge, Gemini, to your family, your friends. They look at you as the Nine of Cups, as wish fulfillment. They see you being successful and single and abundant, and how they release, look, look, the King of Cups, all sad and crying, butterflies, anxiety. This could be the Nine of Wands to me, too, even though this is the King of Cups, because when I'm looking at this King of Cups, he's sad. Look at that face. Look at that long face, long face, long face. <laughs> and we got the whale in his stomach area, making me think that he's got anxiety and things like that. He's, a, he's full of emotion. His emotions, I mean, are they balanced? They're not balanced. His heart chakra is like, he's playing it cool though. You see where the, the boat, he's trying to look like he's above water, above flow. So this person's trying to play like they got it all together, like they emotionally under control because the boat is not like waving, but we got the butterflies jiggling around in his gut area and shit like that. So they have a lot of emotion or they had a lot of emotion. This person do have, okay, spirit, thank you. They are emotional, period. It's not like they have a lot of emotion for you. The only emotion that they have for you is because they can't, they they couldn't defeat you. Yeah, and the only reason because they want to come back. Why they want to come back? Yeah, because they want to mat. They want to manifest with because they mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm, the eight of swords and the ten of swords. See, they want to come back because you're manifesting in this queen of wands energy, and they are feeling all entrapped and shit. They're feeling stuck, and they want to keep you. This is a fallen angel. 
This is a fallen angel that's been in cage. You see how he fell from grace and then ended up landed in the damn cage to only end up in the ten of swords. So this this fallen angel ended up betraying you, going to a whole nother lover to end up entrapped in, in, in ten of swords, their own damn self. And that timing was right for them to go into the three of because this was their lesson to learn. God had to show them, look, you don't do anything that you want to do. Okay, you do what I tell you to do. <laughs> I heard that, God, okay? Like, God is good enough. Like, we're his children. You know how you let your kids run stuff to a certain extent, and then when you have the last say, they know that you have the last say, right? Same thing with God. Yeah, he's great. He lets you think. He lets you run a little bit. He lets you run off. But then when he get ready for his thing, what he need done, then he know how to pull you back in or whatever he need to do to get your attention, whether it be taking some shit away, wrecking some shit, tearing up some shit, because he know we physical, that's how we respond to physical things. Even though we're spiritual angels having a physical experience, everybody's not awake. And for those that are not awake or playing, playing that low vibration, he knows how to awaken your senses by fucking with your shit. Some of them even burnt up some shit, okay? I don't know what he done burnt up. Maybe I'm, uh -uh, I'm hearing house fire. I don't know what he done burnt up. Okay, so if I said that, it's because he was trying to get your attention. Maybe you put God on the back burner. Maybe you disrespected him in some kind of way. Maybe you disrespected the earth angel Gemini, high vibe, in some kind of way. I don't know. But God done burnt you. Burnt, burnt something, honey. Took something away. He did. Mm -hmm. And now you're feeling all sad and entrapped and shit and all emotionally roller coasted and everything. Trying to think about the past of what you did and shoulda, coulda, woulda, dida. Okay? What else, angels? What else? Oh, temperance, you trying to get balanced now, huh? Oh, yeah, because you're looking at Gemini. Look, at Gemini, how they're looking at you. Spying and lurking and looking from a damn distance and shit. Probably got birds and people looking and lurking after you too, honey. Mm-hmm, because they imbalanced. Oh, yeah, they feeling entrapped and, and child, look, they feeling entrapped and bounded. They want to break free from wherever they're at. They claim they love you, but they don't even know what love is because this person... People, places, or things don't even love themselves. They want to play the victim. Okay? They want to play the victim and blame you for them being the wounded warrior. But you've been through around. You done been stabbed up, thorn through, and everything. And you still stand in poised, beautiful. You've been through a lot. Okay? But that didn't stop you. They can't stop you. For you going through the things that you went through, warrior, you are a survivor. You're don't, you don't give up and you don't quit. Otherwise, the person that you left, they feeling, they giving up, okay? They just, see, so you guys are two different spectrums already, okay? They seeing you as strong, and they, and yeah, they see you as strong. Yeah. But this person, yeah. Tell me about the strength, because I don't know, I don't like the strength. If something about the strength, I feel this person... Yeah, they only come in to, yeah, they want a higher level of commitment because something has ended in their life. And that's a secret that they're not going to come and tell you. They are a fucking traitor. I don't know. Mm, they juggling something still. The secret is they're juggling. I don't know if this is a, what is this? A yell howling at the moon, a fox or a wolf or something. But they have their hands in other pant pots and stuff like that. They're not done they have other lovers still. Okay, what's going on with these other lovers, though? Why are they still trying to just point out with Gemini? Seven of Cups, they're all... A, a, it's nothing but... A, these, these options that they are choosing ain't nothing. They is not you. They is not the star at all. Okay? They're in a confusion and illusion. Okay? Um, and this person could be a drug addict as well. I'm hearing powder for specifically. Mm-hmm. Powder. Oh, Lord, have mercy. And that's another reason why the shit didn't work out. They left to a whole nother lover who was a drug addict. They can do drugs together and ended up in the Ten of Swords. Wow. I mean, I don't know who thinks that. Well, because they were trying to keep their drugs use a secret from you, Gemini. And that's not for everybody. For some of y'all, they were trying to keep, they were trying to balance out temperance. Yeah, they were trying to balance it out. And you were getting too close to this person. You see, you were getting too close and they were getting ready to, they became putty in your hand. And before you found out the secrets and shit like that, they had to get got. Yeah, and left you hanging a little bit. So now they hanging and shit. Feeling that child, mm, and there's a conflict and chaos all around them. But now they want to come back to, of course, the empress. What else, spirit? Yeah, the emperor. 
and the Empress. Six of Wands, victory and success. Yeah, they want to get back to the Empress for victory and motherfucking success. Yeah, because the Empress is right there. And they want to go down the path of the Empress now. But judgment's been called. I think God stepped in on that, honey. That's why this person is stressed the fuck out. Because I think the judgment... You made the judgment and they see the judgment that you just want to remain single. That is your justice. You don't even want it. It's a done. It's a wrap. You want to work on yourself and paint your own canvases, Gemini. You do because you're standing in your power right now. Is your queen of swords energy, okay? You're fixing yourself, okay? Some of y'all are getting dresses made for a party, okay? Um... It's a nice party, too. A ball, I'm hearing. Yeah, look at all this. Beautiful. Y'all about to go somewhere. I don't know where you going, Gemini. You, some of y'all about to get married and go to a wedding. Some of you are going to court. You're going to be victorious in court. I know you're going to have whatever the judge going to like your outfit. Okay, he going to like you. The she going to like the outfit. And then, okay, the judge might get a little Haiti, okay? But, uh, yeah, Gemini, that's why they're emotional. That's why they fucking stomach is in knots and... Because you're single, you're abundant, you're free, you're happy, you're on some type of platform, worldwide stage or whatever, and standing in your power, CEO, running your own business and stuff like that, seeing you being strong, and you are the overcome warrior. And they see, look, they're looking at you from a distance, Gemini. It could be another air sign looking at you from another distance, okay, see? They're looking at you sitting on your throne, sitting on your thing, sitting on top of the world, being celebrated and successful, yeah. And what else, spirit? And now they want to fucking make a raggedy ass offer of an ace of wands. How is a page going to make an ace of wands offer? That don't even make no sense. Gemini, they say no because you going to end up like this, upside down. Upside down. That don't even make no sense. Use common sense. Let me get the Gemini Chronicles because I know one of the words is common sense is needed for this shit, okay? Mm -mm. Spirit, who the hell and what is going on? Who is this? So, yeah, you doing your thing, Gemini, living your life, glowing up, and somebody in the corner in the somewhere talking about my love for you will never die. You're mine. Bitch, goodbye. Gemini's like, no, honey, it's my time to shine. And that's why you're shining right here on this world card. And they just looking at you shining. All of their emotions and feelings. Can't do nothing about it because you single, abundant, happy, successful, and all of that. Whether it be on the platform, like it could be a TikTok, Instagram, it could be any type of social media. It could be your own website with your own business you done started. Some of y'all work from home. Okay. Spirit, what else you want? Do you want to say anything? You know, you don't want to speak from this deck. Okay. Spirit is just telling you to eat healthy. A lot of you are changed your habits. You change your eating habits, you're drinking a lot of water, you're eating your fruits and vegetables, okay? And since you started changing the way that you eat, a lot of your senses, your spiritual gifts, downloads have awakened and things like that. Yeah, a lot of you are into sports and basketball and things like that. Whoever is in this sad-ass, depressive energy, they're into sports, okay? They could be into swimming, basketball, baseball, football, soccer, and track, but you see right through this person. And you blocked them, Gemini, because you're not answering None of their calls because you feel like the timing is not right, okay? This person low-key, they're in despair. Why are you in despair? It's also, it's just not that you're not there anymore, Gemini, okay? I don't want to make you feel like, oh, I'm not there and this is why they're fucked up. No, they're fucked up because they don't have a pot to piss in or a window to throw it out of. They don't have no money, honey. They don't, this is, they don't have, look. Even, look, this is someone that doesn't have shit, Okay? This is, where is my, where is my, oh yeah, this is someone, this is a regret, remorse, depression card. Yeah, they need a loan. They need a loan, Gemini, and they going, yeah, that's why, that's why, so I don't know if they're going to say I need a loan, I'll pay you back, but I do know that they don't have no money, and then this has confirmed it, this is money, okay, problem, poverty, they don't have no money, and why? Because they possibly lost their job, that was part of the karmatic deal as well. And this is something that they want to cover up or that's hidden. They don't want you to know they're not working because that's embarrassing from an old ass, grown ass person to be not working. And now I'm hearing there are lots of jobs out there. There is a plethora of jobs out there, but people are just choosing not to work. I don't know. I'm hearing a lot of their criminal background. So I know the, the, the work world is the work world is changing now. Okay. 
um, with background, certain things, drug tests, all these things. So maybe this person can't pass a drug test or a background check. So they got fired, possibly. Okay. This person is always repeating the same thing and never learning the lesson. Okay. So, I mean, it is what it is at this point. What else, Spirit? And I'm going to end it. Anything else, Holy Spirit? Anything else you want us to... Anything else about this person? Oh, my God. And they want you to know that they had a baby or a son or a daughter. Will you forgive them? So they're having babies that they can't even take care of. That's crazy. Some of them can take care of the baby, but they're not. They're choosing not to take care of the baby. But for, for some of y'all, I'm picking up an older gentleman that has a plethora of children that they do not take care of. All they do is lay, lay the pipe, lay the wand. Okay, all over the place, spread the juices everywhere, and this, and that's why they in this energy. Okay, because God say a man don't work, a man don't eat. Okay, and this person ain't working, so they ain't eating, and they don't want to work. They want to work. They want to live off the hard works of your back because you're a creative little fairy, fairy unicorn baby be, being and baby, the baby of God. Okay, see that love all. So, yeah, Gemini, that's what's going on in your energy right now. Y'all are doing the damn thing. You keep doing what you're doing. It don't even matter. Spirit, I mean, the energy is here. I can't not make up the energy. Well, can you just? I can't. It's here, babies, okay? But just know you're doing the right thing. You're moving upward, onward. Your ancestors are giving you downloads. They're giving you the keys. They're giving you the blessing. So, you just take that. And you run with it, and then we're not going to worry about these raggedy, sad, depressed, desolate energies, because it is what it is. They still going to be here, too. You know you have to have the, the, the good and the bad. They all come together. It's all. I think there was a card. It's all together. It's all a unity, the good and the bad. So we cannot, I mean, these energies are going to be coming out, okay? All right, Gemini, that's been your reading. I love you so much. Bye.